Hey guys, Big Randy 0 here. So I'm going to teach you how to make a uh, how to customize your shirt template to your own needs or to prevent copyright and to make your own self unique or your own template unique. And just overall to uh, just make it more customizable and look better and such. So what you're going to need to do first is get rid of all the junk on the actual template. So what you're going to need to do is uh, well, I hold down shift to uh, get rid of the to get rid of the gray stuff, the gray back, uh, the gray outlines. But uh, so I'm going to take an erase tool and go ahead and erase the extra stuff up here. Get rid of all this text because it's totally not needed. And we have to make sure we don't hit the arm, which we just did. So let's go ahead and fix that. Actually, we need something even smaller. Let's go actually uh, 30. That would work. All right. So just go ahead, and erase all of that until you get a nice blank page. Alright, so after you're done doing that, the next thing you want to do is like, uh, for instance, for instance, if you uh, want to use like a space background or any kind of background you want, what you do is you copy this over and then you want to keep the canvas size. And uh, what did we forget? We forgot to make a layer. So the layer is going to go below the background layer. That way, you know, see how that works? It covers or it goes behind the background like that. And then the next thing you probably want to do is start adding text layers and stu and such. Sorry, then I keep on stuttering. It's kind of late at night, so I'm not my I'm not fully awake. So forgive me if I'm not doing my best right now. But so as you can see, we really improved our template. Uh, we made it what we want. So next thing we can do, um, we can add text to it. So let's just go with a nice simple font. And then uh, change this to white, because that would work best. And we can type Big Granny here, and then actually, always keep forgetting, make another layer, and then we can type Big Granny. This would work best. Big Granny, and then you can put this uh, like all over the place, for instance, so we can put like uh, two different texts down. And this is to prevent copyright of your clothing and such. Um, so uh, you can add whatever you want to this, or just anything in general. I'm actually going to add uh, some cool little light rays, or light rays as well. So just to make it even harder to copyright, go ahead and uh, generally just do what you want to it. So light rays, we're going to do this real quick. That's not what I wanted. 150. That should work. Actually, let's do 100 because this is a smaller image. All right. So alpha granite, go ahead and do this, and there we are, that looks pretty sick. And let's also give this space some glow, it's going to look a bit unnatural, but it's going to make it pop out a bit more. There we go. So that's pretty much it, and uh, if you want a transparent background, you don't want all this uh, extra stuff, first uh, if I want to remove the text, let's go ahead and do that. And then you just want to, the heck, that's actually not what I meant to do. Okay, this is what you do. You merge, uh, merge all these layers together into one another. That way you get a nice, uh, nice image. And then you can, uh, get rid of this because otherwise you're just re re erasing one layer at a time All right so this this is working a lot better ready so just go ahead and do that and just remember that there might be glitching when you merge layers like my text seems to be a little bit transparent because uh, it's being blocked out by the light rays actually that's what's happening so let's go ahead and do that so I'm actually gonna go ahead and select all these it's actually only selecting one at a time and uh, Paint.net is a little bit slow for me because uh, there are a lot of plugins on here. So there you go. You get your own custom template. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. If you have any questions or concerns, you can go ahead and leave me a comment or uh, write a message or whatever. And I hope you guys uh, hope this helped you guys out and um, enjoy your new template. And I'll see you guys later. And uh, templates come with many advantages. Like for instance, if you want to make it look cool. Uh, which, if you make it look cool, you can actually encourage yourself 
to make better and better clothing. So really, this is doing you all kinds of benefits, and it only takes like a minute of work. I'll see you guys later, and I'll catch you later. Make sure to check out my other tutorials. This will also go down into the playlist. I'll see you guys later.